Now we're going to talk about what happens if we have a non-sinusoidal wave pattern. Uh, when you listen to a sound, sometimes you call it, it sounds very musical, sometimes you call it, it's, uh, it's a noise. So first of all, I would like to address the issue of what is a musical sound and what is noise. When we have integer uh, multiples of a fundamental frequency, that means we have a harmonic uh, series in, in, a, in a sound, this is going to uh, result in a musical sound, uh, basically harmony and musical sound. On the other hand, if I have a non-integer multiples of a fundamental frequency, and this is going to result in noise. Now, there is a very famous theorem by Fourier, which uh, states that uh, each periodic wave pattern, the only requirement is that it's periodic. That is non-sinusoidal. Uh, can be represented as a combination of sinusoidal waves. And these sinusoidal waves form a harmonic series. This very famous theorem is uh, known to be Fourier's theorem, and the series is Fourier series, Fourier theorem, and mathematically we can state it as follows. If you have a wave pattern uh, that is periodic, so you can write uh, y of t plus a period is equal to y of t, then you can write it as a sum of some combination of uh, sines 2 pi f and t plus cosines cosine 2 pi f and t, where your uh, frequencies are an integer multiple of a fundamental frequency, therefore the waves form a harmonic series, and AN and BN are the Fourier amplitudes. So with this theorem, for example, if you have a square wave like this, here you can see uh, just taking a few of the sine and cosine components in the Fourier series, uh, we can approximate the uh, square wave uh, using this combination of uh, sines and cosines. Now, if we go to a musical instrument, uh, for example, a flute or a clarinet, uh, even though they are playing the same middle C, for example, uh, they sound different. And the question is, why do different musical sounds uh, sound different? Because if you look at the actual waveform that they're producing, for example, you can see the tuning fork produces a purely sinusoidal wave. The flute and clarinet uh, waves are uh, non-sinusoidal in the sense that if you look at their Fourier spectrum, uh, so Fourier spectrum is basically uh, showing us 
the contributions from uh, each frequencies uh, in the uh, in the sounds for example for the tuning fork we have only uh, the fundamental frequency so if you look at the relative intensity we know that intensity is proportional to uh, amplitude squared is proportional to amplitude squared so this is basically a measure of uh, amplitude squared and I see that I only have one component, which is the fundamental frequency. If I concentrate on the flute, on the other hand, I see contributions from uh, different harmonics. So it has harmonics up till seven. And in the clarinet, I have contribution even from the ninth harmonic. So therefore, uh, the, the reason why we have uh, different musical sounds uh, from different instruments, even though they have the same uh, uh, fundamental frequency is that they have different Fourier spectra they are slightly uh, producing sounds that, that are slightly non-sinusoidal so this gives a very interesting idea so if you would like to generate uh, musical sounds electronically uh, by combining any number of harmonics uh, combining any number of harmonics uh, one can generate music electronically so you can see that you can buy these electronic instruments uh, digital instruments that can mimic the sound of a flute or clarinet or violin and the quality with which they can mimic this sound depends on how many of these harmonics are included in their approximation so we have uh, oscillators with these frequencies and we mix them uh, electronically and add them up uh, with uh, looking at the actual Fourier spectrum of those instruments and we can basically uh, get a simulation of the sound that they produce. Now, the sound that we produce electronically will resemble that of the instrument. However, uh, it will never be the same. And that's because this series is an infinite series. So it starts from n equals one goes to infinity. The Fourier series is an infinite series. So there will always be a small correction from the higher harmonic terms that were not considered in mixing of the uh, harmonics.